YouTube, is that you? Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine and welcome to New Benchy Review. This week's episode was called The Burden of Beauty. Let's talk about it. I don't have any quick thoughts, so we're gonna jump right into it. I wanna talk about the flashback in general. I can't say that I'm a big fan of how they were in this episode. It felt a bit disjointed to me where you would go back three months and then a year and then it was just kind of all over the place a little bit. And it didn't really feel like a Benchy episode to me in those moments. I felt like it was more of, let's hunt down the serial killer for Hood. And I was like, well, I don't really want to watch Let's Hunt Down a Serial Killer. I mean, not that I dislike those kind of stories, but that's not what I like about Benchy. So unfortunately, I feel like we're going to have quite a bit of this throughout the season, but I'm hoping that we actually end up focusing more on Job and all the other stories. I do want to talk about the case and Rebecca because we found out quite a few things and we're starting to piece things together. There's definitely a hint that the relationship between Proctor and Rebecca was kind of weird, which we already kind of knew. I don't think we knew that she was scared of him though, because it seems like her ex or that guy that she was sleeping with was like, yeah, she was really afraid of Proctor. I mean, I think she was always a little bit like, I don't want him to find out certain things, but I don't know if we've ever gotten to a point where she's really scared of him. Maybe that, I guess at the end of last season, but I feel like he was always protective of her, so. And I want to talk about Rebecca a bit and how reckless she seems in those flashbacks. I mean, she was always a little bit reckless, but when she goes to Bodecker and she's asking Hood to come with her, but she decides to go by herself and she gets beat up and then she gets out. Which, by the way, that scene with the dog biting the guy, I mean, that's crazy. Ugh. But at least if she was like Carrie who knew how to fight and take care of herself, but she just puts herself in those situations where she clearly can't fight her way out of it. And I'm just like, what are you doing? And then she's putting Hood in danger. And then when he's coming to save her, he's like, let's get out of here. It's like, no, let me burn the place down, which gets him shot. And I'm like, Rebecca, what are you doing? I'm not liking you right now. I'm not liking you. Which doesn't even make me want to root for Hood to find her killer. Cause I'm like, ugh. So that part didn't work for me. But what I did love was Carrie. Oh my God, Carrie is like the best part right now in this season. <gasps> love, 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 love Carrie. And I love that she's working with Kurt Bunker to bring justice to the guys that Proctor lets go. So they're having like this little moment like, hey, hey, here's the file. You should probably go kick their asses. And when she goes to kick the ass of the guy at the end, I love the parallel editing between her beating him and Calvin talking about, you know, taking things into his own hands. I thought it was great. That to me really felt like a Benchy moment where I'm like, yes, this is amazing. And then the even better part of the episode, which I kind of suspected was gonna happen, but still was amazing, is that we saw Job. <laughs> And he's definitely alive, which of course he is, cause you know. We still don't know hashtag where is Joe, but we know he's alive. And I think that you're kind of reminded of what Sugar was saying when he said, I hope he's not alive because who knows in what shape he is right now, which I think it's kind of, yeah, what we're saying, we're like, oh crap. Oh, Joe. Oh, oh, and he has hair and beard, so it's like, I can't, I can't even, I can't even Benji. So for sure, we're gonna have more of Job. Actually, next week's episode's title is Job, so expect a lot of Job things, which I'm so excited about. I really want Hood and Carrie and Sugar to go find him and just do the Banshee thing. So hopefully we'll get more of that and less of the Rebecca story. So those are all the thoughts I had for this episode. Of course, I'd love to hear from you. Are you enjoying the whole Rebecca flashback case story? Are you excited about Job? Oh my God, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my Banshee reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Also, I just want to put it out there that I'm going to need to see more Kurt Bunker action. I almost hope he gets involved with the Job rescue because that would be pretty cool. Right, let's make it happen. Let's bring Kurt Bunker into the team. I don't think it'll happen though.